my friends. Hi guys. Hi Nina. Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me. Hi Becky. Hi Sarah. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for joining me. My name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative energy from Elfen Helden. I'm an elite retailer for Dixie Bell over here in Frankfurt, in Germany. I also uh, am the German distribution for Dixie Bell paint company. So I basically represent all the very talented uh, retailers over here in Germany. So when you join me, just let me know where you're watching from. Hi Joyce and hi Michelle. And say hello to me. Hi Yvonne. And um, yeah, tonight we have um, another fun project starting. It's not a big furniture project. We're going to, to build basically like, a, like a, um, a coat hanger rack. I've got this, um, got a sip of coffee first. Hi Dixiebel company, thank you for having me. Guys, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. I will see if I can answer them straight away. I'm blind as a bat, so I can't see them at the moment, but um, uh, hi Dyla. Um, otherwise I come back later to do that. So I've got this, um, well, this coat hanger piece here and we're going to create a, a little board around it. So um, I've thrown a question in before I'll just put it on the floor. Okay, cat is drinking my water. I prepared for my <laughs> brushes to clean. Um, so this is the board I'm thinking of, and um, this is gonna go on there. Obviously, straight at the end, if possible, and I want to make like a fun piece out of it. So that's that's the idea behind it. Hallo, Ulrike. Hi, Kim. And um, so the question was, which transfer to use? So I couldn't decide, so I was gonna let you decide. We have, we have in the run, we have the tropical leaves, which is this one. Hi, Solly, hi, love. This is the boho soul. We have the um, Latin floral transfer and we have the sunflowers. So I couldn't decide, so I let you decide. And um, yeah, I think most of you, I mean, you still have a chance uh, to say which one you wanna have. Boho, boho. Um, funny enough, till now, the uh, tropical leaves got like the most um, lights. But I'm not quite sure because boho, okay, boho, because this was just used yesterday by Connie, so I don't know if I should use that today also. Tropical. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, Sonny Joe, our oh, Woody Band Queen. Tropical, okay, people like to see the tropical. There's a few of my German friends on here, so they want to see tropical. Okay, we're going to do the tropical. Um, okay, you haven't seen the leaves done yet also. Okay, then we do the tropical. Okay, all to the side. There will be another project, we can do those. So, now I'm gonna go through with you. Um, I'm not going to apply that obviously straight away. Um, because it's like quite some fun colors on there. And I'm going to take that out so you can see. Because now we have to decide on the colors. They all have like loads of different colors in them and they're all very fun. So this is going to be applied, screwed on there towards the end. So I'm just putting, putting that to the side. I'm still deciding if I'm going to paint that or not. So the tropical leaves transfer. It has, it has, it comes in, it has, let me see, I don't want to say anything wrong. Okay, that's one with six sheets. That's one of the big ones. It has six sheets and it has like single items. It has like those smaller bits and pieces, like those paradise flowers. Look how gorgeous they are. Very, very pretty. So you can layer those 
is um, slight bigger um, items and it's all like orangey and green and purpley and stuff like that in there. So then there is um, some bigger like full sheets which you can put like on a drawer something like that. I'm not going to use those. That's that's what I know for definite. This one also comes a little smaller. So I'm going to put that to the side for now. And then we have some more smaller bits and pieces which you can basically layer. So there's like all those colors are purpley. It's like a little golden stuff. Purpley, green, orangey. So now we have to decide first on the colors we're going to use on the base. You could, you know, have just like a plain, beautiful white and put those on so they really pop. Yeah, Florida orange, flamingo. That's correct. Orange, yes. Oh, you did, Sarah. That's great. Sarah ordered that one today. So I'm, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to pick some colors for it now. I'm going to take it with me to decide. I think I'm going to take, I'm going to take, let's see. I think we have definitely amethyst in here, which I want to use. Just put that there. I'm going to have amethyst. I put a lucky lavender there. I'm not quite sure. I don't, I don't think I want to go too light on that one, but I will see. I would like to have definitely Florida orange. You could also put some of the daisy or something like that in there. So I just grab that also. Daisy or rebel yellow. And some greens. You can have tree frog green. You can have kudzu. Kutsu is going to go lovely with it also. So Kutsu is not as bright. Uh, you could use Palmetto, you could use Antebellum Blue, so there's loads of colors in there. Tree Frog Green is a very bright green. And Evergreen, no, I think that's too bright for me. I don't want to use that one. I'm going to grab the Daisy, the yellow. So this would even look beautiful if you just have like um, just have like the the daisy painted in daisy and just like put that transfer on. I think that that would be gorgeous also. So I think those are the colors I want to have in the run for that. That's my selection. You could also you could also have some peacock or something like that. Peacock of uh, pure ocean. Let's see. Let's see. Just to have like a, like a complete like a complete opposite. It's like some of the um, of the pure ocean peacocky colors in there, just like a tiny little bit. So this would make the the transfer pop also. So this is my first color choice I'm having now. So this is basically how I decide where I want to go. And um, I can see we have a new retailer from the Netherlands on here on Instagram. I'm just seeing him. So very talented, very talented. Welcome, welcome. So let's see, let's see which colors we're going to use. I think I don't want to have the Lucky Lavender. And uh, hello Vera, schön, dass du da bist. So, guys, if I miss any of your questions, just um, repost them. Hi Liz, I didn't see you, sorry. Yes, brownie tones would be lovely also, Sarah. The brownie tones are definitely not me. So I'm gonna go for colors with that one. And I think I'm going to blend some of them. And I don't think we're going to apply the transfer today. But let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. Let's see if I'm going to use those ones. I think I'm going to leave the orangey out. And I'm going to go for those colors. I think that's what I'm going to do. 
and I'm having them mixed over the whole board and then we're going to see how we mix those in. So those are, I'm taking amethyst now, I'm having daisy in the run, I'm having kudzu and I'm having pure ocean. Those are the colors I'm going to use and very quickly chosen, very quickly chosen and oh hi Sean, hi to Canada, thank you for joining me. The colors are so beautiful, aren't they, Liz? I absolutely love them. So, okay, this is the decision I made. And prepared is this board, um, is this like a, this is just like a cheap pine board, nothing special. Very cheap pine board. Hi, Amy, thank you for joining me. So, Amy from AJ's Vintage Designs. So, thank you for being with me. So, having some fun with those colors first. Let's see how far we get. Already 15 minutes into the run. I'm going to mix up my colors quickly. And then we're going to go. I'm first going to open them up. So, Kutsu and Pure Ocean. I like those colors. So this is going to be a nice base. So, uh, chalk mineral paints by Dixieville. They are VOC free. Sorry that you don't see my face, but it's more important um, that you see what I'm doing down here. I'm going, actually, I'm going to pull you down a little further. Instagram. Also, there you go. So, um, Chalk Mineral Paints by Dixieville, VOC free, water based. As you can see on the green, there's like some milky substance on there. So before you start painting, always mix up your paints to make sure that all the ingredients are properly mixed because the, the benefits of those paints are that you can basically paint straight onto your project, onto your wood without any preparation apart from cleaning. So this piece has been, oh, sorry, excuse me. This piece has been cleaned, but I also used boss on this board as this is a pine, a pine wood board and all those dark veins and stuff like that and knots you see, I'm pretty much sure that they are going to bleed through. So as I didn't know which uh, colors I'm using, if you use, you know, dark colors, obviously, uh, you won't see that at the end, but because I didn't know which colors we're going for, I thought I'm going to stay on the safe side. So I've bossed it. I've used Boss Clear, which is for some reason my favorite. Oh, hi, Sonia. So thank you, Amy. So hi, Patricia. Hi to New Jersey. So mix them up so and you can beautifully blend those you can layer those you can do loads of things with it you could also do some use some sea spray and age it a little bit but uh, as we're using those uh, the tropical leaves you don't need to really age it i think it will be pretty like this this is an icing spatula i've got here I found this is the easiest tool to mix my paints as it is easy to clean. So sometimes the paints have a little different consistency from one color to the next. That's not um, a quality um, issue or something like that. If it's too thick for you, just add a little bit of water. So. That's about fine. So that's it. And the last one. This one is going to be the pure ocean. So and then we're gonna go. I'm going to have the daisy in the middle, the kutsu around. I've already made a mess. I've already made a mess. I'm very good at that. So um, it wouldn't be me if I'm not messy, wouldn't it? 
Sorry, guys. Some things never change. Definitely not me making a mess. Absolutely. Hi, Charlene. Thank you, Sonia. I hope you like the colors. <laughs> I mean, this, this is, I mean, this is what I use, you know, because you can clean that. I already look a mess. You can clean it up nicely and easy. You know, you can use a wooden stick or something like that. That's, that's perfectly fine. I just prefer this. So, um, Guys, none of the things I say is like the thing you absolutely have to do. This is basically how I how I do it, and it's not that you have to do it the same way. It's just um, if you like it the way I do it, I'm happy. If you don't, just do it another way. So, okay, those are now the colors. There you go. There you go. So I've got my Mr. Bottle. Just had it. I've got my Mr. Bottle. And I'm having also my mini brushes somewhere. You could use, I prefer definitely the um, synthetic brushes by Dixiebell. My favorite is the, the mini brush is the mini brush, which is heavily used, as you can see, uh, because I use them a lot. This is one of the most used brushes I have. And <laughs> master of disaster. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> um, but you could definitely use also, you know, one of the oval brushes or something like that, or the, the flat brushes. But, you know, the, the minis are my, my favorite. And this is the mini angle, which has got like an angle. So this is the reason it's called mini angle. And now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go from the outside to the inside. I'm going to start with the with the amethyst. And let's see which way around I'm going to do it so that you can see, see it the best. I think. Hang on. I'm going to turn the table around. I'm try not to throw the paints down. That would be a nice mess, wouldn't it? So let's go from there. So you can see a little better what we are doing up the front there. Over here. Okay. Mm, oh, thank you, Tammy. So what I also like to do, I like to, I like to dampen my brush a little bit before I start painting. So I'm not soaking it. I'm just like um, that. That's not like completely dry. So that's the only the only reason I'm doing that. So and then I'm just uh, dipping it into my container. If you wanna, if you're worried about contaminating your um, paints or something like that, I would recommend pour it out on a in a separate container or something like that, so nothing happens. So just like a little bit of amethyst on here. This is the first coat, and this is a rough board anyway. So um, we are not going for a smooth finish here. And as per usual, my first coat is um, checking out if I like those colors together, which I'm pretty positive I will like. If you feel your paint is dragging, you can also mist your project. And I'm just laying it down for now. Then I will see where we go. I obviously have a very small table here. So anyhow, we will get along. Get along. This is the chair. I will need a second coat. So we'll see how far we get today. But this is basically how I um, choose my colors at the end, unless I have a customer who is um, 
who is fixed with his own colors and says, I have to use this. But um, if I'm going along, I'm basically picking a couple of colors, I think, which go with the project and um, decide on the fly, so to say. Around the edge a little bit. So this is again going to be a pretty bowery type of thing, I guess. I can see that already. Even purple is not exactly my one of my favorite colors, but this amethyst and aubergine, they are so rich, absolutely gorgeous. And I think this is this is transfer is just going to be perfect. Careful. I'll drop it. So now we're gonna go for the pure ocean. That's our next color. Same thing, misting my brush a little bit. And then I'm gonna go. So I'm just laying it next to it for now. There's no real blending going on at the moment. Just wanna put those colors down on the first go and then we see how we get. So as I said, if you're worried about contaminating your paints, I would recommend pouring them out into a separate container or a little plate or something like that and go from there. I'm not, I'm not worried about those blues also because this is going to be just spread out it's not about, um, it's not about, um, oh yes, oh yes, I think I like that. It looks a complete mess at the moment, but you know guys, whenever I do something, it lo always looks a mess first and then, um, it gets nicer as we go along. Usually it does. Most of the times it does. Not every time. So, oh, thank you, Adrian. <laughs> um, Nina, this is pine wood. This is pine wood. This is just like, um, well, I think this was, I don't know how much it was three years or something like that pretty cheap piece so perfect for this project which is going to be a little rustic so um so another mini so i'm using uh, for every paint color a separate brush for now there's people when they do that they over they use the same brush for all the for all the colors you can also do that that also works but uh, i honestly i prefer i prefer to do that a separate brush for each um for each color so it's not too much contamination happening so okay and in the middle we are going to have then a tiny little bit of the daisy of the yellow. Again, another mini, dampen it a little bit, and there we go. So now, especially with the, the yellow, if you have like um, the wood bleeding, um, it'll eventually come through, which will be very much of a shame. So, finished. <laughs> No, not quite. Not quite. Well, I think the colors go pretty nice. Oh, hi, Betty. Oh, thank you for joining me. I'm so happy you're there. Thank you, Betty. So, uh, Liz, the green is kudzu. The green is kudzu. So, what do you mean, ouch? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I've seen ouch. It wasn't O. Oh. Okay, so I take that positive, Sarah. dead pine well that's that was lucky that it's dead absolutely 
So I'm just going to dry that quickly and we're going to do the second coat. Um, okay. So whenever you, you know, you, you paint, don't use a hair dryer or a heat gun. There's some areas which are not covered properly. I'm not worried about that. Those will be covered on the second coat. And sometimes, sometimes I already do the blending on the first coat. This time I'm not. I'm laying the colors out first. And they are going to be reactivated basically on the second coat. And the, one of the great benefits of the chalk mineral paints is that they are self-leveling, which means that they level the brush strokes out during the drawing process. So obviously when I am using uh, my heat gun or if you use a hair dryer or anything like that, you are uh, interrupting this, uh, this process. So you also, you don't have to seal those paints. They're self-sealing. Um, you can, if you want to, um, they dry open pores. They have like a flat finish. And if you prefer to have um, like a different touch to it or something like that, obviously you can use wax or a top coat of your choice, but you don't have to. So now we start again. We st I start again with um, this amethyst. You, you could go inside out. I mean, this is completely, completely up to you. So. And just lay that on here again. So as this is a pretty small piece, I'm going to go, where is my list of bottles? Where is it? Oh, there. Just keep it damp if you want to do some blending. Just keep it damp with your Mr. Bottle so it doesn't dry. That's basically what I'm doing at the moment. I'm laying it down. A little around the edges. And now I'm going to come in with my Pure Ocean. And lay it down. So especially now because I'm moving basically into the other paint color. This is basically where you start contaminating your, really contaminating your brush and your paint. But I'm not worried about that. That's what I want to do now. Because I want to move those into each other. So this is a little bit too much purple for me. So I'm going to clean my um, Pure Ocean brush a little off because it's taken on a lot of the amethyst. It's far too much for my taste. So, and clean it off. So, amethyst is a very rich color. It's a very rich color. And I'm peddling that. I want to cover it a little more. I don't have that much of the amethyst. So I'm going to carry on with the other colors, I think. I'm not quite finished there.
So leave that for now. Speeding that a little bit up. And this is not going for the perfect blend. This is basically can be a little bowy. So keeping them, I'm going to come in with my best thing brush in a second to give it like a little bit of a cloudy, cloudy look, a little bit of a daisy. Daisy also is a very rich, um, you can see that, that was just like a tiny little bit I just used. It is a very, very rich um, color. So, nobody moves, best thing brush. So best thing brush by Dixie Bell, this thing is huge, this thing is absolutely enormous. So, um, um, uh, can you see a pussycat? Yeah, I'm sure they were running around. I've just seen her around. <laughs> Michelle is a naughty mood. So, um, when I use the best thing brush for blending, um, I usually, when I use the over medium, I like to work with a, I like to work with a dry brush, but the best thing brush I found it is a lot easier to work with when it's um, when it's a little damp. So it moves a little easier over the project. Get another way to clean it off. But apart from that, there's now no paint on it. Get my board clean, uh, dry, a uh, wet. Let me dry that. So. so now I'm going to give it a nice swirl around. You can see how rich the amethyst is. This is going to go everywhere. It's too much amethyst for me. Move a little bit pure ocean in there, so you can always change that if you don't, if there's like for your taste, some colors just too much in there. So now I'm just going to go around it in a swirly motion. Mix those up. Still too much, um, still too much amethyst up there. Drop a little more pure ocean off. Go from there. So you don't have to go in swirly motions. You can go up and down also. I mean, this is. Uh, basically how you like to do that but I am preferring the swirly motion at the moment. To mix those colors in and to get like a little bit of a cloudy look at the end. I've got a squeaky table also underneath. Going right over the middle now. Clean your brush off and just carry on till you you're going where you're happy with it. There's no pure ocean, too much amethyst up there. You can see how rich some of the colors are. Sometimes some of the colors, they get more and more than you basically start moving them around. So when you feel your brush is like, you can use also like a, a baby wipe or something like that to clean that off a little. As I said, usually when I do blending, I like to work with a dry brush. 
Patricia, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So that works absolutely fantastic. But you can clean that. Um, you can clean that uh, off with uh, baby wipe or something like that. Dampen it up a little more. So the colors we have on here is from the outside. It's amethyst. It's pure ocean. It's um, kudzu and daisy. And a squeaky table. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. So, I'm tethering it out to the outside. Clean that brush up a little more. So I think those are then the colors I quite like for the for that transfer. So and you can see this uh, brush is giving you like a, a little of a cloudy cloudy look. You can see that nicely here. So um, um, the best thing brush. Um, have harder to clean, not really, not really. So, um, but you can really smooth those areas up. Make them a little cloudy and go from there. It works pretty beautifully. Up and down. As I said, you can go in swirly motions, you can move it up and down. That's completely up to you until you reach a stage where you like it. And add even some more color to it. You can add some cat hairs to it also. Let's go that one. So it. I think that's how I quite like it. What do you think? And when this dries, then we can put basically next week our transfer. What do you think? What's the time? 40 minutes. So because this got to dry, but this is now how I would like to have it. We have a bit of the pure ocean in there, not too much. We have the amethyst. And kudzu and daisy, and it's pretty nice and cloudy, I think. So, I'm going to put that to the side for now. I'm going to clean my hands off. I'm going to show you close up. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Michelle. Si kind of cosmic. Yes, that's what I actually just thought also. But uh, I think this is going to be quite nice. <laughs> me, me. That's intended. That's not intended on my hand. <laughs> so I'm just trying to bring it a little bit closer to you. So this is basically a little cloudy cloudy look of the whole thing hi joyce thank you betty oh that's sweet thank you so and i think the let's get a test where, where are the sheets there are the sheets they are the ones i'm not using and they're the ones i won't use So basically today, so what do you think? That's gonna be pretty, pretty nice. Oh, I can see some hearts. Oh, oh, thank you. That's sweet. That's sweet. So 
Hi, Faye. Oh, thank you. That's sweet. Thank you so much. So, and this is basically, we're going to do to do some layering with the, with the transfer then basically next week. Today, we've um, chosen the colors. Just put it on the floor before I drop them. Okay. So, and this is basically also because I was asked, you know, some people find it pretty difficult to choose the right colors for the transfers and things like that. Um, don't make it too hard on you. And uh, I can again say, do it as hard. Do it as I say, not as I do, because I'm not usually, um, I don't usually, or I'm not uh, usually that quick with my decisions on the paints I'm going to use. So I know what I'm talking about. Don't be too hard on yourself. Just uh, grab some of the colors you think you might like. Um, make up your mind beforehand if you, how many colors you want to use. And then you basically just go for it, you know. And sometimes, I mean, this has uh, turned out now different than I actually envisioned it. But uh, it's going to be perfect. Oh, hi, Heather. Thank you for joining me. So, but this is basically pretty perfect for the transfer at the end. So, I think it's going to look quite cute. I hope that, um, well, helps you a little bit. And um, I thank you so much for joining me. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I'm the owner of Creative Energy from Elf and Helden. I'm an Elite retailer for Dixiebel over in Frankfurt in Germany. I also um, am the German distribution for Dixiebel paint over here. So I'm not standing here only for myself. I also represent all the amazing retailers over here in Germany, which is um, um, well, it's, it's a little more than a handful by now. So, but they're all very talented. So if you're looking for the products um, I was using, just pop over to the Dixiebel page and um, check for your local retailer. Um, yeah, and uh, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I'll be very happy to, to help you out. So guys, you have a great evening. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you next week. And we're going to see what we do with the transfer on there. How we're going to layer that on there, guys. Thank you so much. You take care. Bye-bye. Oh, hi, Marlene. <laughs> A hugs to you, Betty, also. Thank you for being with me.